I'm Dr. Juan Dumois. I'm the director of the Pediatric Infectious Disease Program at All Children's Hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida. Some of my other duties here include being the um, chairman of the Infection Control Committee. I am also a physician uh, member of the wound care team, and in that capacity I've helped introduce a, a wound care modality over the last 10 years that we had not been using much before, which is the use of honey for wounds that aren't responding very well to other types of treatment. Uh, I am also the director of the International Adoption Clinic at All Children's Hospital, and it is one of the few such adoption clinics in the state of Florida. We've always seen a lot of children with staph infections. Staph infections are infections caused by an organism called Staphylococcus aureus, but that's kind of long and we just say staph. About 10 years ago, we started to see a new phenomenon of children coming in with recurrent skin infections. That used to be a, a very sporadic thing that we would see, but then it became more frequent. And initially we were wondering if some of these children had weakened immune systems, and they didn't. We tested them, they were fine. It was the beginning of an epidemic of infections with a new strain of staph that we call MRSA, M-R-S-A. Uh, that stands for methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. In general, MRSA infections are not more serious than regular staph infections for most people. In some people, however, they can be very severe, just like regular staph infections. The strains of MRSA that are circulating have an increased tendency to cause little boils in the skin. These are sores that drain pus. That's, that's seen more frequently than with the old regular staph. Luckily, they're usually treatable by draining uh, any pus and treating with appropriate antibiotics. And we still have a lot of good antibiotics to treat most of these infections. But it can become very problematic for the families of these children who sometimes every few weeks or every couple of months develops another infection that requires a visit to the hospital, a prescription for antibiotics, and sometimes a drainage procedure in the emergency room. We do occasionally see children with very severe forms of this infection, but most that's a relatively rare situation.